Hi, this is Mike, and I was at a conference recently and did a, a session on creating e-learning with Articulate Studio 13, and afterwards I got a few questions about Engage and just generally how does it work and why would I use it and how is it better than kind of typical PowerPoint slides. So I just thought if those folks were asking it, there would be others who might benefit from that answer as well. So I will take a couple of minutes here and walk you through you know, one of the benefits and what Engage can do to make your e-learning courses better. In my session, I talked in the context of pretty typical HR type course on giving feedback. And we've all seen those courses that include pretty typical topics like SMART goals. So this is an example of a typical slide you might see in one of those courses. Pretty standard bullet point format and really it's it's a push delivery method so you get everything whether you want it or not. And that's the first benefit of Engage that I want to talk about is how you can add some interactivity and change your delivery method from this sort of push method, which is a one-size-fits-all, to a more learner-centric pull delivery method, which really puts them in control of how the content is displayed. So over here in Engage, let's take a look at some of our options for sort of transforming that dull static slide into something a little bit more interactive and engaging. In Engage, we have 20 different types of interactions so lots of different dynamics and different types of things that you can do. And if I just take a preview, we can kind of take a look at what we're getting before we even fill anything in. So you can see here, I've not even typed anything in yet, and I've got a very different feel and vibe already from you know, the bulleted PowerPoint slide. Now filling these out and creating these are another benefit of using Engage. So a lot of times designers will kind of skip over the interactive element in their courses because of time and expense and, and you know how long it takes to build and how hard it is. But with Engage's form-based tool, it's really super fast and easy to add your content. So I'm just going to add a title to my step. I'm going to, you know, I can type in what specific means fill that in. If you want to go even a step further, you know, I can add media, characters, video, flash. Maybe I'll just add a, a character to this one. Kind of see how that works. And I can add and remove as many steps as I needed. So if we think in our terms of our SMART goals, we're going to need five of those tabs. And then I'm going to put the specific information on each separate tab. Now I've jumped ahead and you can see here the completed version. Same content from our bulleted point slide. We've got our SMART goals and some details around that. But if we take a look at this, we can see now it's much more learner centric because now the learner can drive which pieces of content they want to see, which is especially relevant in topics like this where the audience has probably seen them before they probably don't need the whole big dump of information that's there. They maybe they just need to go back and they've got a question about one or two of the pieces and this gives them the ability to drive the presentation of that information and they're able to pull that information and only what's relevant instead of being forced to wade through other stuff that they already know. So that's one big benefit of using Engage versus typical slides is translating your course delivery from push to pull. You'll notice it's all the same information. You're just changing how you deliver that sort of from a one size fits all versus a custom fit sort of mode. So next time you run into one of those bullet point slides like that, take a minute to pop into Engage, browse through those interactions, and think about how you can still present that same information but in a more learner-centric, dynamic way using Articulate Engage.